No. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. We just saw the Grey Wardens try to raise an army of demons. You want Solus to bind you. He has to! If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then someone can bind him. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind Cole with blood magic. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit? Wearing an amulet of the Unbound was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. She hurts, but helping hurts more. She sees the strings that pull me, eyes like raisins in a stale cookie. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. We know it's not just going to work, right? It never just works. Have faith, Inquisitor. Ah! What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too... human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. It appears we have something to find. I told you it never just works. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away... ...whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment.
Yeah, this should get me through the month. But give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You. You killed me. What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the spire and you forgot and I died in the dark. The, the spire? Cole, stop. Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me and I have to kill him back! Before anyone gets killed, I need to know what's going on. Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying Lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. Varric. The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate, captured and taken to the Circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit, likely one of compassion. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly, and all too fragile when its efforts to help prove to be in vain. Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. All right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. Do it. No! How you doing, kid? Feel any better? No. You can't make it all just go away. I learned that the hard way. Forget. No. He needs to remember. You too. We're done here. For all we know, the amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. 
The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? If you ever find the answer to that question, do let me know. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone, but everyone can see me now. They remember. How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? I can help with that. It is good that he is not entirely changed, however human he becomes. He writes words that aren't real, but they are for him in a quiet place whose stone shape shakes the ground. How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. May I bring a sampling of fine cheeses for you and your guests? I don't eat. Well then, just a bottle of a fine Gislaine White to start. Please enjoy your meal this evening, Your Worship. He saw me. They all see me. Next you'll be eating and drinking and everything else. What else is there? Have you used the privy yet? That should be enlightening. I find people when their pain leaves them open. I ease the pain. I leave, they forget. That was enough for me. Now they remember, and I'm not sure... I... <sighs> Cole? I told you about Reese, the mage who could see me, my friend. My only friend for a long time. Evangeline showed me that Templars could be kind, but even she... Cole, if this is troubling, we don't have to talk about it. Gentle. You watch me walk into darkness over and over, and you always worry. Thank you. But this isn't about them. It's about... When I found out I wasn't human, when I grew, I lost Reese. I lost my only friend. That's why I was scared about letting all these people see me. That's why I laughed. You're laughing at yourself? Yes. This world taught me that changing means losing your friends. But now I know that doesn't have to be true. I have enough self to know that what I felt was foolish. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Most people aren't quite so happy to learn that they're wrong about something. I might like being human. What do you think I'll learn next? He didn't kill his father. He was his father. May I ask how things are, now that you're more human? It hurts. Everything hurts. Everyone remembers me now. I can only make them miss me for a few heartbeats. But... I'm real. More real, anyway. And I understand more than I did. You're still able to sense the feelings of others, aren't you? Yes, I still feel things. Flashes of their minds. Pain, hurt, all of it. It's not so loud anymore. I make more noise myself, so I don't hear as much, unless I want to. I remember more things, though. It lets me learn. I sometimes see why something I said would bother Cullen. Maybe I'll do it less. What's the difference between you and a spirit now? Spirits are... They just are. 
Most of them sense something that interests them and stick to it. They don't remember much. It keeps them pure, but it also keeps them from learning, from growing. I wanted to help people, but I only knew enough to do it in the simplest way. Now I can see more. I also want to hit people a lot. Varric is helping with that. Are you still physically the same, or are you fully human? I was always fully human. I can do everything I could do before, except make people forget. The way I move comes from my mind, not my body. As long as I remember some of the fade, it remains. My body is just like the real Coles, except that he was a mage. I'm not. Why aren't you a mage? I can't know for sure, but the real Cole, his father beat him, killed his mother. His sister might have died, too. I don't know if that was real or what the demon made me think. Then the Templars threw Cole in darkness and starved him, all because he had magic. He thought that if he didn't have magic, I'm what he wanted to be. Him but normal, so no one would hurt him. Why can't you make people forget you anymore? Because I'm real. The forgetting was for both sides. They weren't frightened by me, and I wasn't hurt by them. Making people forget was a defense against people attacking me, and having what they saw in me stick. Because I'm real, everything sticks. Whatever people think or feel about me stays. Can you still help people if you can't make them forget? It's harder. I can't start over if I do it wrong. But seeing me changes them. They know a person wants them to hurt less. That helps. I'll talk to you later. If you like.